I'll tell you what, folks. I've just watched a video, and I'm I'm not going to put this out till tomorrow morning. And I don't want you, you folks, up all night watching my videos. I don't honestly. I want you to get some kip like I wanted myself. It's what ten past midnight now, as it is anyway. I'll put this out in the morning. But I've just watched a video there, and I can't believe it. I mean, I've watched videos over the last couple of days of this fellow. I mean, two days ago, Tuesday, he's saying tomorrow, Wednesday, or whatever you want to call it. And I thought, whatever I want to call it, whatever we want to. If tomorrow's Wednesday, we call it Wednesday. I've always called Wednesday Wednesday. I'm weird that way. I call Thursday Thursday. I call Friday Friday. It just it just seems to work for me. That way you don't get confused. Today, what did he say today? What did he say? I've wrote it down here somewhere. This wasn't anything to do with emeralds and snowballs. He said that about three times. He said, I've had an untold amount of winners in the last two weeks since I've been back and placed horses. And I thought, untold amount of winners? I think he's had two maximum three that's in two weeks when he gives anything between three to five horses a day he's had between two and three winners and he says that's an untold amount he said he wins virtually every day but don't worry if you have a day when you don't win because the next day you're going to win because 50 percent of my horses win and place and i'm thinking yeah but the prices are getting crappier and also as i say you, you you're advising multiples and so on and so forth so you're not winning I mean, Peter, I've got this to say to Peter Sandrovich, by the way. I think, Peter, I wanted to just come out right and say, Peter, you're a liar. But that's a bit much. I know it could get me in trouble. It could get me in trouble, what I'm going to say now anyway. But I think you're telling porcupines, Peter. I do. I mean, can you not put a daily profit and loss up? If you're as good as you say, and if your horses are performing like you say they are, because we all know what's going to happen all the folk that watch my channel. You were offering a horse today that you'd normally charge £10 for. We thought, here we go, the charges are getting uh, ready, ready for Royal Ascot. We all know that, don't we? You mentioned it three times that you normally charge £10 because they're your special, special Irish bets. Things like Emerald bets and what was the other one? You never mentioned crossbows. Snowballs. You never mentioned crossbow or bullseye bets today. You'll mention them later, no doubt. But I'm thinking... Why don't you let us know all the tips? Work it to the SP prices if you want, you know, and let us know what you're really doing. I think we all know, all my followers, not followers, all the people that watch my channel, know that if they were betting with you, they'd be down. If you're as good as you're saying, you're always winning, show us how it's working. Because I just don't see it at all. I don't, honestly. Untold amounts of winners, two or three in a fortnight. What else did he say? He mentioned the horse there. This is almost as bad as the Wednesday bit. I can't tell you all I know about that horse, but all I know about the horse is, and then you went blah, 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 and I thought, you can't tell us all you know, but all I know is, and I'm thinking, what's all that about? What was another one? There was something else, and I can't think what it is. I don't think I wrote it. There was something else that had me laughing, and I thought, every single bet is given out to you, and it's the same every single day. I think it'll win. I, yeah, I think it'll win. I'll be very surprised if it doesn't win. I'll be very disappointed. But I think it'll definitely come in the first three. It'll definitely come in the first three. It'll definitely come in the first three. But I think it'll win. I do. I think it'll win. Every single bet he gives out, he thinks it'll win. It's unbelievable. What kind of world is he living in? Unbelievable. And I won't be bragging about getting placed off. He's at 7-2 to two and 3-1. to one. He's 7-2 to two and 3-1, to one, man. Most people in the world can get them. A place to us at 7 to 2 or 3 to 1 is not doing anyone any good. They're losing money. Peter, I think you're telling porky pies. Let's get honest now. Let's get serious. Let's get honest. Let's see how you're doing. Let's see how you're doing and then we can make our minds up on whether your emerald and crossbow and snowball and bullseye bets are worth the money. I'm thinking they're not. But let's play the game right. Let's give it a go at playing it right. Give it three months of doing the right thing and playing it right. And let's see how we let's see how we go on from there. By the way, I've had I've had a couple of winners the last two days, Peter. One at eleven to one and one at twelve to one. I've not shouted it. I've not shouted it from the rooftops. I've actually asked folk tonight, do they think I should put it in my thumbnail? Eleven to one winner yesterday, twelve to one winner the day before. You know, to to bring in more faces like you're doing there. Because I feel bad doing it because they're not my tips. They're off a young man called Zorro. They're not my tips. But he tells me he's very good and he moves markets like you tell me. The difference is I'm seeing it with him. I've, 
I'm not really seeing it with you. You know, I'm not seeing it with you at all, but I am with him. I know we won't win every day, but I think from what he's showing me over two weeks, he's given me probably now 16 or 18 horses that they say will be smashed in price. And two-thirds of them have been. Normally, halved in price or more. And many of them are framing. They're not all winning, but many of them are framing. He's doing really well. As I say, 11 to 1 and 12 to 1 last two days. You gave 11 to 1 when it was it last Thursday. Tisha, you, meant, you keep mentioning it. You mentioned it the day it won. You mentioned it the day after. You've mentioned it every single day since. As I say, I've had 11 and 12 to 1 in two days. Not mentioned it. I am now, I suppose, but... It's not on today's thumbnail. I never mentioned on today's thumbnail. Today's winner. Or yesterday's thumbnail. The day before's winner. I didn't do that. I've not done that. I mean, I feel like I'm cheating because they're not my bet. Somebody's passed them on to me to put out to the folk that are watching. But we're trying to do it right and trying to be honest and, you know, and up front. Could you not? Give it a go. It'll make you feel better, Peter. That was the other one today. I've got an influential meeting about buying to us. An influential... What, what does an influential meeting mean? I'm meeting someone that's influential. I'm meeting someone of influence. But that doesn't ring true. We're buying racehorses. What's that got to do with buying racehorses? An influential meeting? No, that one lost me. That one definitely lost me. Anyway, we'll see how your do tomorrow, Peter. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh saying I think you're telling porkies, but I do. I'd love you to do some figures and let's see whether or not you're as good as you say you are. Average winners 7 to 1, average winners in Ireland 10 to 1, 50% strike rate. I'd love to see if you can back that up with some proper, proper figures. I would, honestly. Anyway, I'll leave you at that. I'll leave it at that. Don't worry. <laughs>